So as you can see, it's really stiff. I'm trying to do this one-handed, really stiff. And now we just need to lubricate that pin. Okay, so we've probably all got plunge saw in our workshop and you probably come across the problem where your plunge saw stops moving freely, it doesn't spring back up as it should. Every couple of years, that's what happens to me. And I'm at the point where I need to just give it a little oil or just blow out all the dust, clean it out, oil the pivot pin and get it back to moving nice and freely. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Um, it's pretty simple. Let's turn the camera around and I'll show you. Okay, so first things first, I've got a Makita and um, it's been doing really, really well. Um, like I said, every couple of years, um, it does just stiffen up and it doesn't plunge as it should, which is really dangerous and you shouldn't really use it like this. Okay, so I turn this saw upside down and the first thing that you're gonna need to do is remove this plate at the bottom. It's pretty easy. It's just four screws with a Phillips head. So you've got one in each corner, one, two, three, and four. Remove that and remove the plate and then we'll be able to get to that little grub screw that we need to remove in order to grease or lubricate the pivot pin. Okay, so yeah, now we've done that. If you have a look at the pivot pin, so this is where it pivots, obviously. This joint here, this little round circle is the pivot pin. So we need to get some grease within that space. So what I'm gonna do next is remove a little screw, which I have done already. And this is what it should look like, one of those. And the formal Allen key. So I've taken that off. And also what I'm gonna do, is remove this cover as well because I'm gonna get um, the dust out of there as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Just gonna use a drill, remove those. So there we go, there's the cover off. Just came off really easy, you can see the blade. This is a CTS adapter to put our hoses on, really cool um, on the end. So let's remove that and blow this all out also. I also use this opportunity to blow out the inside of the motor. So obviously as you're using the saw, it's sucking in the air, dusty air, so don't go too much. Okay. So as you can see, it's really stiff. I'm trying to do this one-handed, it's really stiff. And now we just need to lubricate that pin because basically that is the only thing that it can be. I mean, this spring is only a guide to push the saw back up to put it into its original position once you've cut. The only place it can be is this little pivot pin in here. Okay, so the next thing I do is, as you can see, the saw is turned upside down now. And what I do is I squirt some WD-40 into that pin upside down to get rid of all the crap. It will come out a little bit black. Then I let that drain out, so. Yeah, so that's the hole there. I'm gonna put the straw in and just give it a few squirts and just see it coming out black. Okay, and that's all you wanna do. Let that drain uh, for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and put some car grease in. Okay, so I was thinking about the grease earlier. I did say grease, but I've changed my mind. I think it's a little bit too thick. I remember using something similar last time, but I've actually got this for my sprayer. It's a throat seal liquid and it's quite, it's quite gloopy, you know, it's, but it, you know, it's a nice oil to use, a thin, a thin oil. Um, I think WD-40 is too thin. So what I've done is, as you can see, it's freed up a little bit now. And um, I've just simply put a couple of drops in that hole. Okay, put it in, you can see it's filled up and then just play around with it, just move it a few times. You might have to do it a couple of times, you know, you might have to squirt the oil in, move it up and down a couple of hundred times just to get that oil in the pin. I don't think you can necessarily remove the actual pin. I'm not gonna risk taking the whole pin out and the whole saw falling apart. So now I've done that, I'm just gonna simply put the grub screw back in and nip it up and, you know, lift the saw up and down a few more times and it should free up. And if it doesn't, just repeat that process a few times. Just, it should, it's a 
10 times better than what it was. So look, it still needs a little bit of help, but I think over time as we're using it, it should be fine. So I'm gonna put it back together and see how it performs. So back in the workshop, and I have turned the machine around the other way now. So if I just let go, it just springs back. Okay, so I did put that oil in a few times and um, clean it out with the WD-40 first. Remember to get rid of any of the black stuff that comes out. But it's, it's performing as it should. I should say that I did squirt a little bit on this pivot spring as well. I just I heard it creaking. So down in that little gap there, I just think a little bit of, a little bit of lubrication in there. It shouldn't really do much. Make sure you clean the grease off after, otherwise the dust is all going to stick. So before I put that plate back on and the saw cover, just make sure you wipe off any oil anywhere, otherwise the grease will just attract all the dust and the dust is going to stick everywhere and it's going to go back to square one and you're just going to get it on all your work. It's just what we did in reverse, going to put that plate back on like so. I forgot to mention to put your extractor port in before you screw this plate in, so I've just released it and put it in, clip it back in and then nip the screws back up. All right, let's put this plate back on the base. Okay, so there is a little bit of play on these screws, okay, so it may change the way it runs on your saw and you may cut off more rubber. So. I'd advise just plunge it down on your track and make sure it lines up with the rubber again. Um, like I said, there's a little bit of play on the screws, so you might just want to move the plate around just by releasing the screws and centralising it however it fits your track best. I'm just going to centralise it to those holes as best as possible. Shall we go and test it? Plates on. Normal. So what we can do now is get it on our track and just double check, we'll plunge it on the track, push it down and just make sure that we're just touching the rubber, okay? Yeah, that seems good to me, it seems just perfect. So Sean was cutting with this saw just a minute ago, just gets out of trouble because we've got two of them. So what I'm going to do is give Sean the newly fixed saw and I'm going to show you him cutting one piece, show you that saw in action. Okay, so let's swap that over. I won't plug that in just yet. Unplug his other saw. Spring back guys. Yeah. Spring back because if it doesn't spring back on you, it's really unsafe. You're having to hold that bottom plate while you lift it up. It's just a nightmare. There we go, quick fix. Should only take you 10 minutes. Like I said, use a thin oil. Um, don't use anything like WD. The WD-40 was just to clean out the hole to start with. Um, at the same time, you can service your machine by dusting it out, blow out all the holes, get rid of all the dust. Um, once you have oiled it, just put that, just do that grub screw up and just up and down a few times and you might have to repeat the process um, if it hasn't done it first time. Um, I did think grease was gonna cut the mustard, but it's a little bit too thick, I believe, for this pin. So there you go, 10 minutes worth of work and your saw should be back to new once again. Happy days. Sean, what should people do if they've, liked the if they've enjoyed the video? Like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe. Send Sean some money. <laughs> PO Box 50. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm going to crack on now. We've got lots to cut up. We've got an open ear wardrobe to start cutting up. 
using our parallel guides and our track saw square. If you like the equipment that we're using, check out the video above. These are really, really good um, for cutting up material if you don't have a table saw. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Take it easy, see you next Sunday. Ciao for now.